the department provides the uh, right for what right is now the uh, the largest uh, group of majors uh, of our graduates. I don't know whether it will stay that way forever, but we seem to have a, a bit of a real interest in our business department. Uh, we provide the standard core curriculum for business students after the regular core curriculum has been met, and then we provide the advanced classes uh, such as entrepreneurship, uh, advanced uh, accounting techniques, uh, strategic management, business law. Uh, those are the kind of courses that we have here that help round out the students and uh, get them ready with a business major that they can go out into the real world or perhaps on to graduate degree work. I think one of the most remarkable things about it is, and I have had the privilege of uh, attending some better institutions and going through some uh, management training uh, in areas that are, are very impressive is that the, the level and uh, experience of the people we have here in the business department as instructors and professors. There are people who come not just with the uh, requisite or the appropriate uh, academic degrees, but they come with a wealth of experience in their various areas and they can bring a wealth of information of how you really get it done in the business world so that while everyone has to learn a certain amount of nuts and bolts, uh, you've got to get the topical material down. I think that uh, having an opportunity to interact with uh, faculty who have been there and done that, to use an old catchphrase, is very, very helpful. And I think it helps keep the attention of the students. Uh, it's one thing to set, stand up there or sit up there in front of a bunch of students and talk about a lot of uh, of topical material, of things you've got to learn. Yeah, we all need that. But then to have someone sit there and say, well, I can remember a time when we were faced with this at our organization. Here's how we did it. Here's where it went wrong. Here's how we had to correct it. There's nothing that beats experience to be able to lay on top of uh, topical or required learning material. Those concerns for um, ethical and moral foundations are integrated into the kind of teaching that we provide in most all of our areas, as far as I can tell here at Southern Catholic. I know certainly we have it in the business area, and particularly where it reflects in the area of leadership, um, how to manage people in an ethical manner. Uh, this is interwoven in many of our courses, and we have one course that the seniors are required to take in ethical uh, business leadership that, uh, that has it as a, as a firm foundation. So, Starting with the kind of a Catholic institution that we have here, its, it's uh, moral direction, its underpinnings uh, fits very nicely into what I believe is important uh, in, in, in how we teach our young people. Uh, there's some hard lessons that need to be learned. Uh, a lot of studies will show that uh, those organizations that can conduct themselves in a moral and ethical way tend to be more successful than those that do not. I don't think we should kid ourselves for one moment into thinking that just because there are ethics and moral and it's taught that the good guys always win and the bad guys always lose. As a matter of fact, that frankly isn't always true. But it doesn't detract from the fact that I think we need to lay a firm foundation for our students, uh, give them the right kind of direction, and then hopefully they'll conduct and lead their lives in a way that we can be proud of later on and I think will ultimately lead more to their success rather than not.